Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dunstan and Dragons, and we're going to talk about Jane Goodall. Uh, do you know who Jane Goodall is? Uh, shockingly, I, I was shocked to find this out. I didn't know this. She's still alive. Jane Goodall's still alive. She is the number one uh, primatologist on the planet. Um, she really changed the game on how humans study uh, animal cultures um, all over the world, specifically in Kenya and specifically with chimpanzees. Um, but she, her work, you know, went far beyond that as well. Um, but I, I am absolutely astounded where Dungeons and Dragons is about to go with this new official connection between Lego and Dungeons and Dragons. So Duns, there's going to be a Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Lego set. Um, and you know, we don't need to wait. And now that they've, you know, announced this official connection between D and D Lego, we can use Dungeons and Dragons castles, well, castle, which has literally thousands of minifigs and models and, uh, you know, literally every single, uh, piece of equipment that we, uh, use in Dungeons and Dragons has already been modeled out in Lego. It's, it's absolutely incredible, right? And so the bridge between them is quite literally the physical bridge. You know, you, you drop your 60, your 48 by 48 gray Lego base plate, you build your official D&D &D Lego set, and then you connect it to any other Lego set that you can put on any number of 48 by 48 and you literally have the minifigs which you now are literally your minis right once we have official lego minifigs i don't think there's going to be need any need for 28 millimeter uh you know whiz kid stuff at, at all anymore um and and the reason why is our our official D, &D lego miniatures minifigs will be at scale with every other created lego minifig right and you'll build your set connect it you know over uh on you know with the lego base plates and then just literally physically move you know, the you know the lego minifigs into contact with your D, D world like the bridge is not abstract it's quite literal right like and then you simply run your campaign right so um because some, some of the other you know connections have been abstract right but um so one of the things I'm getting ready to, you know, to connect with Dungeons and Dragons, because I think it's going to come from my player characters, is Jane Goodall. You know, direct connection between Dungeons and Dragons and, and Jane Goodall. Now, how would that happen? So, first of all, I got some criticism in the comments from uh, Triangle Kitty. One of my commenters uh, said, hey, where's all the player characters in this? And I had to admit, I'm so excited about all these different connections that will be coming up for Dungeons and Dragons to Lego that I, you know, I was starting to make plans and saying, hey, I'm, you know, I'm going to connect this set, I'm going to connect this set, I'm going to connect this set, right, uh, physically, right, and, um, and she's like, well, where, I'm sorry, I don't know the gender of Triangle Kitty, uh, Triangle Kitty said, uh, sorry if I misgendered you there, um, so Triangle Kitty said, hey, um, you know, uh, where are the player characters, so immediately, I, you know, I went out to my, my team and said, hey, my, my player characters had said, in all, you know, in going forward in our D&D 5e game, you guys are welcome to grab any, you know, to purchase any D, any official Lego minifig, and you can bring it to the game and request it to be a, um, a sidekick, right, which we already have the rules for from the Essentials Kit, right? And so uh, they got very excited. Actually, two of the players got very excited. Uh, two of the other ones I haven't heard back from yet, right? And, um, and we... So at that point, what I'm ex one of them said, "Hey, I have a whole bunch of sets, but those sets are at my my parents' house, right? So these are like my childhood sets, right? So whenever you think about you know Lego and like super fun kid sets, you think about that that classic Lego uh, Jane Goodall uh, tribute set. I mean, I think every uh, what kid didn't own it, right? Um, and so when you have so I'm expecting that Jane Goodall, you know, fig to show up at my table pretty soon as a requested um, sidekick. So how do we do that, right? So of course, we, you know, we we simply take the the Jane Goodall set, put that on its own 64 by 64 um, Lego base plate, and then we'll have our D and D Lego base plate. And I've, I've been really kind of modeling out this bridge so that it has elements of all the different Dungeons & Dragons realms incorporated in the physical bridge that I bridge over to the other Lego 48 by 48 gray base plate, right? Which is now the foundation of Dungeons & Dragons. The Lego 48 
uh, gray base plate is really the foundation of every Dungeons and Dragons campaign going forward as we switch and abandon these old 28, min 28 millimeter, um, you know, miniatures and switch over to this much, much vastly more expansive, um, you know, Lego minifig scale, right? Uh, I'm also thinking that we can use brick heads for um, medium, for, so Lego mini, Le, Lego, so the scale I'm envisioning, envisioning I'm curious your, if your take on this, is we will use Lego minifig as medium, and then Lego, uh, Le, Lego brick head scale will be large, we'll use that for any large creatures, right, so we can do like ogres and, you know, like larger creatures with the, um, with the brick head scale, brick heads scale. So, so basically what I'm really excited about is, okay, so one of my player characters, you know, brings the Jane Goodall set, uh, and you know, and that minifig and says, I would like this to be my sidekick. Strixhaven done, boom, finished, right? Jane Goodall in Dungeons and Dragons, right? Um, and so then I think what's really going to, what I'm really excited about is I don't think we really didn't have any idea when this was announced the way this would change Dungeons and Dragons, all right? So you bring Jane Goodall into your Dungeons and Dragons game and everything your player characters do is gonna change overnight, right? So their job is gonna be to get, you know, so once Jane Goodall is in Forgotten Realms, right? You got a green dragon up in Mount Houghton now, right? Previously, they might've been hired by, um, you know, by the Neverwinter Lord to slay that dragon, right? Now with Jane Goodall, she's gonna be like, okay, hey, nice to meet you in this tavern. Um, I need you to get me there. And when we encounter any kind of creatures in the forest, you're gonna help me go around them, right? You're gonna help me maybe capture them, right? And then you know, and set an automatic release on them for a day later, once we're past them, you're gonna get me to Mount Hood now. And what's gonna happen is using my Kenya chimpanzee knowledge, I'm gonna go into the lair of the green dragon and I'm just gonna sit in the corner with my binoculars, my pencil, and my pad, and I'm gonna observe. And when that green dragon goes to sleep, I'm gonna go up, lay on the gold, just like it, and when it wakes up, it's gonna go, oh my gosh, this person gets me, right? And relatable, right? And rather than slaying the dragon, Jane Goodall is gonna get all this incredibly, you know, official, um, you know, incredibly valuable primatologist information about the green dragon, how it lives, how it, you know, interact, does it use tools, all these kind of things, right? And then her notes, right, are gonna come out into the Forgotten World's realm, which is really incredible, right? And that, and you're like, well, where's the com, you know, where's the combat, where's the conflict in there? There's lots, right? There's gonna be fight right out of the gate. Who's gonna get that data? Is it gonna be Strixhaven? Is it gonna be, um, is it gonna be Candlekeep? You know, man, those, those academics, phew, now it's not going to be a blood fight. It's going to be more like a, a letters of exchange and like harsh words between Candlekeep um, monks and the uh, you know the Strixhaven professors. You know it's it's going to be a different type of combat, right? But there really will be combat when Jane and Goodall stuff clearly passes Volo's guide to monsters in which is actually in the realm itself. Volo's going to get upset and he probably go try to lay hands on like you know on anybody helping. Jane Goodall, I don't think he would play against you know, Jane Goodall, but, he, but I think Volo ain't above throwing down with an adventurer or two, right? Like, so you, there's probably going to be some cling, cling, cling sword fights over, uh, you know, Jane Goodall kind of embarrassing Volo. Yeah, it's going to, yeah. And I think it's amazing, like, how different our adventures are going to be as we click, click, click Dungeons and Dragons to Lego. And I, boy, I'll tell you, I was excited when I realized, you know, Magic the Gathering connects Dungeons and Dragons directly to Kaladesh, directly to Dominaria, directly to Innistrad, directly to, like, just, it, you can realm, 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 It's nothing compared to what D&D is now being connected to with LEGO. It is absolutely massive and just offers a myriad of new options for how we use miniatures, for what worlds we connect to, how those connections are made. Like we used to have these abstract connections. Now the le the connection is literally, like it's literal. Like it's, here's the bridge, not a abstract concept bridge. Like here's the bridge from this 48, you know, stud Lego gray plate to this 48 gra uh, stud Lego gray plate. And where we used to be like, oh, click, this was a fun set. 
everything your you know your terrain's built your figures are there you're done is it's amazing i'm just so excited uh how are you so uh, when do you think you'll start your jane goodall Dungeons and dragons forgotten realms player character driven adventures i'd love to hear let me know in the comments below please consider liking subscribing have a wonderful millennium